Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Luke and Pete. Talking sheet. What we would like to ask you, um, all of you that are watching and enjoying it, some of you are not subscribing. What is going on? How dare you? If you if you can subscribe, you know, drop a comment, show us. Don't show be us, shy. Yeah, let us know who's watching. We really appreciate it. It really does help us out. And, and, and make sure you hit that like button and that little bell. Yeah, hit the like button, hit the bell. And don't be scared to share. Yeah, share it. Share the bloody... Ch- the what laughter, we're saying. the laughter. Share it. Because unless uh, things better start picking up soon. <laughs> <laughs> By the way. Uh, there's a money. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, stop, stop. Stop, stop <laughs> mentioning the money. Stop okay, well, money. they need no, to know no, the no, honest... No, right, no, we're we're struggling up in no, here. No, no we're going to start again. <laughs> hey, guys. Hey, guys. I'm oh, sorry. Do we say it together? No. All right. Oh, when you come... Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Luke and Pete. Talking sheep. <laughs> Stop, right, right, go, right, go. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. We really appreciate you, but we're finding a lot of you. Are no, watching... no, that, that's, that's negative. Now you're going negative. Right, <laughs> what right, we're right, finding right. is a lot of you are fucking right, right. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. <laughs> fucking subscribe! <laughs> hey hey guys, guys, man, we appreciate you. <laughs> Uh, we appreciate you. <laughs> hey guys, man. <laughs> All right. Hey guys, man. <laughs> yeah, right. Hey. Right. Hey everyone. All right. All right. Hey, it's Luke. All right. Hey guys. It's Luke. <laughs> hey guys, it's Luke here. All right, one, two, three. Hey guys, man. Thanks for tuning in. Um. <laughs> All right, you try. You go. All you right. go. Hey guys, uh, thanks for tuning back in. Uh, we just wanted to say we appreciate all the support you guys have given us so far. And if you could do this a favor, if you could comment, like, subscribe, and and don't be don't don't be scared. The please listen. Okay, some sorry. of you, some of you. What? Let's get me the bone on. You were going to say I felt like you were really going to hit them with something there. Go and let them yeah, know. Yeah, you. We know you're watching. We know you know, we know. We know you're watching. We know you. We get the stats. But but can you hit the subscribe button? I mean, please? come on. And the bell. Hit the bell as a reminder so yeah. you get the if reminders. Even if, you, even if you don't listen to it on a podcast, hit the follow yeah. button on there. It just helps us out. <laughs> I know. We want to set aside the shit from the good stuff. Yeah, right? the shit from the sheet. You yeah, know what exactly. I mean? <laughs> yeah. So hit the hit the uh, subscribe button. Hit the little bell so you get the reminders. And also leave a comment for us. Leave yeah, a comment for us. Let us know what you think. Yeah, and share it with your friends. Yeah, Soon as the podcast grows, we start doing more. All right. Anyway, let's crack on with the episodes. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to Luke and Pete. Talking sheet. How are we doing, man? Yes, I'm good. good. I'm good. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling happy. I'm ready to fucking get into this and really take to the floor. And give these guys what they want to hear, which is the usual shit we talk every week. All right. This week, we're going to talk about shame. Shame. Are shame. You... Shame on you. Sh- ashamed of yourself. Yeah, you can be. Yeah, and I am. What I understand of shame, because I had this discussion during the pandemic, because... Um, it was a long people, time people, ago. People, <laughs> people, yeah, no, no, I did have... I had. That's when it came to the forefront of my mind. Um, people, people were trying to have a go at people for like shaming them for not wearing their masks. Oh that's yeah, what, that's or, or shaming way. them for, oh, come over there having a party out there with their what? friends. People were coming over. And doing what? And they were like shaming people for like... Yeah, garden party, yeah, yeah. Was, and everyone I, turned into a creep. And and this is what I realised, Um, not really I realised, but I had a discussion. And shame, shame is external and um, guilt is internal. There's a difference. What is about- shame? Shame, like shame is when you feel bad. Someone else makes you feel bad. That's not true though. Well, no. Well, no, because sometimes I've been ashamed and then I've gone back to Charlotte and gone, oh, I feel ashamed about that. Yeah, okay. But and that's uh, external. Okay, okay. Once, that's external. Well, yes, that's I've, it. I've said to her. That's what I said. It's said shame is external. And guilt? Is internal. I have said to her I feel guilty about that. Yeah, but you're still, you're, that's something, it's usually a standard from inside. You feel... I feel like I've done something wrong and someone else makes you feel ashamed. Cause I always wonder, can you feel ashamed if no one's around? Well, if no one, if what I, you've done. If you, okay, give me an example. If you're on the planet on your own, no one around, what would you feel ashamed of? 
if no one's around. No one's ever going to be around. Well, I wouldn't fucking feel ashamed of anything exactly. then. Exactly. I'd mean. walk around with my cock out. Yeah. Uh, well, and yeah, imagine yeah, you, you everyone's be, there. You should be ashamed. <laughs> yeah, but. <laughs> no, but I'd, be, I'd walk around. Oh, shit. Oh, I need a poo. I'll just walk and do it. <laughs> I just walk like along. An I would true. not care. That is that's true. no shame. But, but that, and that's what keeps us in balance with everybody. Like what, what would you do if there was no one on the planet and it's just you? There's no point in reading. Do, I would do, why is it? I enjoy reading. But there's no point. No one's there. I don't read for other people, Pete. I read for myself. But you surely read to get more educationalized. <laughs> wow. <laughs> If there was ever an advertisement for somebody ah! who needs to read more, educationalist, <laughs> educationalized, educationalized, educated, educated, educated. educated. educated myself. Ed ed more ed educated, ed educate myself. Yeah, Would yeah, you but, do? but I, I enjoy educating myself. Yeah, but there's no one around, Luke. So you're just gonna die anyway. It's just you. So what would you do if you was on the planet on your own? I'd like drive someone else's car and just be like. It's mine now. <laughs> <laughs> that would, but what would why, you do? Why, why, I'd why, just go and drive fast you, cars. And Why would you see? See, the only reason... Is I, there I, bodies? The only, only time reason... Oh, my God. <laughs> no, I'm saying, is everyone suddenly dead? Yeah. So you're here, but you're just a lifeless body. Not a lifeless body. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, so no, everyone's no, no. been here, but they've died. No, or no, is they, it they, unborn? They're like... they're, no, they're gone. Everyone's just gone. Everyone's disappeared. Everyone's everyone disappeared. Just disappeared. You woke up one day, everyone's gone. Like, home so, alone. So, so I know... So I know what it's like when everyone's been here. So I've yeah. I've woken up one day and every I'm like, I'll be like, where the fuck is everyone? Yeah. I'll be like, that's the best prank. That so because where would you think everyone's gone? That's true. What would you what would you do if the if the world disappeared everyone in the world disappeared tomorrow? I'd be would like, you, where would you still would you still brush your teeth? Yeah, in fact I'd be more in I'd be more inclined to brush my teeth. Cause I'd be like, shit, there's no dentist to pull my teeth out. I've had seven teeth pulled out. Really, really? Yeah, I've said I had seven root canals, and then my body was just like, "Nah, we can't keep up with it." So, it, like, they got infected. I went traveling once. I was in New Zealand, right? This was kind of shameful. And um, <clears throat> I got this infection in my tooth. Mm. And what happens when you get an infection in your tooth? It goes an abscess. Yeah. So I was like, had this really big gullet because of this abscess. But it was like agony. I couldn't even sleep on six hour bus journeys. I'd be agon it was agonizing, right? And I'd squeeze it and pus would come out the side of the gum. It was rank, right? But I'd only just started traveling. So I started taking these antibiotics, got them from the hospital in Australia, right? Then I went to New Zealand like a month later, right? The antibiotics had worn off and it'd come back in. It was massive. I had to go to an emergency dentist, right? And the dentist was like, look, I'm fully booked. I'm like, you have to see me, man. Look at my face. And the guy was like, oh, God, yeah, that is horrific. And his assistant, no, it was the assistant saw the face. Because my face was, like, starting to droop. Wow. Like go what like country that. was this? New Zealand. Yeah. And the assistant uh, was like, oh, my God, yeah, that, that you're right. That is That does look really bad. And she went in. And then the guy said, look, the dentist came out. So, but remember, this is all in the fucking, like, room where everyone sits. The reception so, area. So, yeah. So everyone's coming out to have a look at my face. So like she goes in, she gets the dentist, dentist comes around and he's like, oh God, that is bad. And everyone's looking and like people are like looking as well. Oh, well, well people, like the people, people waiting. What, 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 yeah, like let's see, let's see his fucking like the, 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 And I felt so like, like, can we do this in private, please? Like everyone's fucking looking. They're like, no, you ain't got a fucking appointment. So you get what yeah. you're given. No. And then he was like, oh my God, this is like. Did your breath smell? Um, I mean, more no, than usual. but it tasted. What? Oh shit! Like it tasted like, like even. So it probably did stink then. I don't think it stank. Why? You could taste shit, but you didn't smell it. Nah, because Charlotte never said. But well, Charlotte seems like the polite person to not say something if your breath smells. She probably hold her. No, breath. we have a thing where we say, "Yo, the breath is humdinging tonight." Really? Yeah. Has she, has she ever told you your breath is humdinging? It's gutsy. I say that to her. Your breath's gutsy. <laughs> One second. Because it will has smell she... sometimes, and she's just brushed her teeth, and I'm like, "How's your breath fucking stinking?" <laughs> You've just brushed your fucking gums, mate. Hold and your on. breath still. Hold on. Uh, would you say that? Say, when she's uh, when she's sick, when she's got like a cold, she'll be like, <sighs> and I'll be like, oh, that is God. That's gutsy. That that's something. Well, what would she say? She'll be like, oh God, I'll lie this way then. And I'm like, no, you won't. You'll go and brush your teeth again. <laughs> 
You get up. <laughs> Uh, you use more than your allocated share of toothpaste, but, do you know please. What? But it's like we're past that point of like, there's past the point of no return. I'll get it. If my breath smells of shit, I'll be like, okay, I'll take on the thing. I'll go and brush my teeth. And then if she goes and brush her teeth, use the mouthwash. Gargle it. Try and gargle it as far down your throat as you can. <laughs> drink, drink a little <laughs> yeah. bit. Drink a, a little bit. bit. Drink a little. Have a little. It's but, not going to kill you. But you do. You but do. that breath just might, okay? Uh, and it, I always notice it as well when she goes out, she has garlic. Mm. Like, it'll be like, fucking, that breath is like, oh, no. One no. second. So I'm in the um, waiting room of this thing, and, and I'm obviously embarrassed because it is disgusting. It was disgusting. But then the dentist was like, cancel my appointments. This is an emergency. We need to take that tooth out. Mm. I was like, oh, fuck. I hate the dentist, right? Anyway, Charlotte comes in with me, and he's got a needle this size. To go where? To to numb the tooth. Where does that go? In my gum. How far do your gums go? I don't know. I was thinking, why is it so big? Yeah. But he pulled out this fucking needle like that. And to put it in, he punched it. He punched it into my mouth. So he's holding the needle, and he went... And Charlotte went, oh, God. And he goes, madam, get out. <laughs> Get out. And Charlotte was like, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I was like, Charlotte, yeah, get out. And the needle's in my mouth. And it's really, really bad. Like so what, He went in inside the mouth. The needle's here. Yeah. And he's punching it in. And you know when a needle goes in your gut? I thought, it's come through that. It's come through, but it hadn't come through. But it felt like it had. And um, he said, this is the worst abscess I've ever seen in my life. On this tooth. And it's the tooth that needs to come out now. I've seen adults with kids' teeth. <laughs> what? Something happens. Have you? They've and the adults have like kids' teeth. No, they just got small teeth. No, no, they're they're baby teeth, Luke. What? They've got because their big teeth. teeth have come through. Some big teeth are there, and you're like, okay, it's there's maybe, the maybe, so maybe the little teeth didn't thingy. You, they look like milk teeth. The adults' really? teeth. Yeah, they've got baby teeth. I've never seen that. I've seen it on and, a few and, people, and they've got big teeth and little teeth. Yeah, but I, I've never, I've not said to them, "Oh, are they ba your baby teeth?" Uh, I've just noticed it and kept quiet about it because I felt that's kind of putting shame on it. If I say, "Cause what about?" Honestly, I know because I've looked at it and thought the gums look big and the teeth look little. Yeah, but I, I've seen that with people's adult teeth. Like um, Puff Daddy has has very little teeth. But I wouldn't say Puff Daddy has baby's teeth. I'd say he's got adults' teeth, but they're small. But I've seen adults with baby teeth, and I'm like, oh, that hasn't fallen out. Like, you think, like, I don't know. As an adult, would you not, like, tie it around the tooth and, like, fucking close it in the door? Try and rip out the baby teeth if you've got baby teeth. Mm. But apparently they're so strong in there, they don't come out. Really? Yeah, I've seen it on a few adults. A few? I've seen it on a few, and I remember thinking, oh, that's that thing that that guy had. So where's the adult? The adult teeth are still in the gums. Yeah, that's why the gums get kind of big. And then the little baby teeth. <laughs> it looks different. I'm not going to say it they, looks... They were, they was, my, my son's got... He's got a brace, but he's got... He can't take his brace off him to... He's still got an adult tooth to come down. But it's still in there. And they're like... It's, they was like, should we pull it down? Do we can pull it... The baby tooth it? out? No, the baby tooth's gone. All oh, right. I'm, look, I'm fucking saying tooth. The baby tooth. The baby <laughs> teeth. The baby tooth. tooth is well, what do you tooth. call it? Tooth. tooth. Oh, tooth. I call it tooth. Yeah, tooth. All right. Baby tooth, tooth is... is, is but he needs to... You need to yank. You need to. They could pull it and slowly pull it down, or, or just like just let it come down naturally. Well, you asked me. Yeah, that's what I said. Just let it yeah, come down naturally. Right. You don't mess with your body, mate. It's best not to mess with it because if you fuck with the big who, tip. who the f everybody messes with their body nowadays. What experimentally or what are you talking? Like cosmetic surgery. Oh yeah, but I I uh, I couldn't do that. You want to get any cosmetic surgery done? No. Even if I was a woman, why would I want dog lips? <laughs> Yeah, but obviously they look beautiful to the woman. The woman they, thinks they look they look like good to the man. They do, but sometimes it's like, it's like it's women too big. It's like women who wear makeup. I don't like women who wear makeup. Do you not? <laughs> what do you, do you like them to look like yeah, bed face? You're, I like natural. Yeah, but they're still even natural women are wearing makeup. Trust me, you may no, look no, no. I know the difference between a woman who wear like when I saw that foundation on. No, I don't like the foundation where it looks like if you put your nail down it and you could roll it into a ball. I wouldn't like that. I don't. That's too much foundation. But I like just a little bit, maybe eyeliner. You see when a woman puts on like a bit of 
eye makeup and you're like, wow, that's made such a difference. No, it's like when they wear the, what's it called? The blush art? The, the colours here? The foundation. It looks very, it looks very like... Painted on. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't like that. But I mean, it, I think it's about, they probably do it because they think, oh, it looks great. Yeah, I know. But yeah, but no one's going to gonna turn around and say, it looks like you fucking had let a plaster on your face. Yeah, but I, I say, I'll tell a woman that. I'll tell her, be honest. No, you can't. Why not? Well, because they'll get offended. Who the fuck doesn't get offended? I, would you rather someone lie to you or tell you the truth? It's different when you're trying to make yourself look better because they think it looks great. Yeah, they so watch I'm, some I'm trying Kim to help, Kardashian I'm trying to video. I'm trying to help them make themselves look better. Yeah, but it doesn't work. You're better just letting them realize themselves. Because otherwise you're just going to get into an argument about what their face looks like. Yeah, and I'm saying the natural one looks better. Yeah, it's like men don't do any makeup. Like, I have to look good naturally. But Charlotte can go out and look good, like, putting on makeup, fucking making herself look good. You prefer Charlotte with makeup or without makeup? With makeup. Do you really? Well, it's nice. I'm like, wow. That... No, what do, you, what do you mean prefer? Okay, don't mince my words now. But I'm not, I said no, prefer. I said, okay, well, what? It, what? Uh, I don't care, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Come on to think of it. I don't actually well, care. Uh, like, yeah, I don't yeah. give a shit. Yeah, if Charlotte's listening to this right now, like, all right, that was... That okay, was well, obviously, sometimes you'd be like, no, I don't, I don't... Obviously, you'd be like, wow. Sometimes I'm like, wow, we go out for dinner. I'm like, wow, she, she looks great. And then sometimes she wakes up in the morning and I'll think, all right, <laughs> not bad. <laughs> but not, I'm not, not like... Not great. But I wouldn't wake up and bad. go, Wow. You know, mm. so it's obviously like there's different levels to looking good. Do you think? Like if you go out and you don't do your hair. No, no, I do. I do know what you mean. I do see a woman who does who does herself, but I just, I just can't. When I see the makeup, there's some women who look fucking fantastic when they wake up in the morning. Yeah, I know. I want some of that soap. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. No, I'm joking. Charlotte yeah, looks women. good. Charlotte looks good without makeup, but. Yeah, some women do look great. Just no great. Funny. Yeah, but I don't know how long have you spent with them, because it could be like they're doing their makeup as you're sleeping. No. Uh, oh. Oh. But oh. Do, wake do you know? Up. I know. Do you know? What I know this as well. This is what I noticed as well. I don't know if you've noticed this year. Yeah. When I'm with a new woman. Yeah, yeah they try. Woman, the what? Go on. What were you gonna say? No, what was you interrupting me? Say, go on. They try and look good all the time. No, look that, look that. Like. They, I don't ever, they, I don't ever smell their breath. Their breath is not, they don't, their breath never smells. And then I realize when I start to get like a bit, I start, I start to smell the breath a bit more. Skanky. <laughs> what, when you get to know them, yeah, they like get the a bit more comfortable <laughs> and let their guard down. Wrigley's extra, bitch. <laughs> and, and I swear, and, and I, sometimes you, you, you smell. Oh, yeah, I know. Yeah. But, but you could, do you ever that, say, that, would you say? You no, there's no need to say that. There's no need to say there that. Is. They're sleeping. They're sleeping. Oh, you, when they're asleep, you'll have a little sniff. <laughs> no, I'm saying they'll breathe. They'll breathe. They'll breathe. They'll oh, breathe. yeah, they breathe into you. Sometimes they breathe. They breathe. You know, you're over there. <laughs> yeah. And they, and they yeah, but the worst is when you're there and they're there and they breathe and you breathe in when they're breathing out and you fucking take, get a full gulp of it and fucking send you a bit dizzy. Mm, yeah, <laughs> it's, not, it's not good, man. Do you like hygiene on a woman? What do you mean do I like hygiene on a woman? Does it, is it one of those things that you think when you're with a new woman, are you a bit like, let me just see if she's going to wash her hands after scratching that? No, that, those things don't bother me. Well, if, like, she's fucking do, like, if she fucking does like, something that's a bit like, I like oh, I that's like, a bit. I like, I like, I like, a, I like, a, I like a filthy woman. Well, well, how filthy are we talking? Like. What are you saying? Are you saying scabby nicks or what are you saying? No, I'm what? saying like, just, I don't know. I like. Like sometimes, sometimes you go with a woman and she'd be like, "Oh, like I'm, I'm gonna have a shower before." I'm, oh, whoa, no, 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 no! Oh, you like it to be dirty? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but after clubbing, she's been running around the place. Yeah, yeah. You like the busy smell? Yeah, I like the busy smell. So she's been on the tube all day. Yeah. She's sat on the tube. Yeah. She's come back. Mm. Would you smell it? Yeah. Before? Yeah. You like you you. What do you like? What would you prefer? Do you prefer the soap smell? You want the smoke, the soap um, smell? Well, dude. Go on. Go on, no, speak your mind. Well, I ain't gonna speak my mind if you pipe down. <laughs> A day of sweating around the place. Mm. So, right. Do you get off on the smell? 
No, I don't get off on the smell. But, but you I do, like, though, because like, you say you like I li- it. I like the aroma. <laughs> the aroma. <laughs> I like the aroma. All right, Jonathan, what's... I like the ro- aroma. <laughs> the aroma. I like the aroma. Well, so, but I'm trying to get into my head. Are you in smells? But we've... We like, would you smell an we armpit? Just, we, discussed this, we discussed this already, remember, with the panties. I know we've discussed the panties, and like, I, get, uh, like the I, get, armpit, I don't understand. The armpit isn't... isn't for me, the armpit. Would but you like, lick like, an okay, armpit? Okay, okay. Would no, you no, lick no, an no, armpit no, 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 during no. sex? No, 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 no. But like, it's like this. Sometimes, sometimes you'll be behind, right? Mm. And, you, and you're giving it, you, you, you bang. Yeah, and you're you bang can and smell you do, 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 do. a bit of... And, and, and every time the wolf... Oh, I don't like that. I, 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 yeah, you like that? Yeah, yeah I like but that. What does it smell of? Poo? <laughs> no. No. What? <laughs> no. What are you talking about? <laughs> well, <What>? Charlotte. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not Charlotte saying. has it been wet. No, no, no. Probably... <laughs> no, I'm not talking about Charlotte. Charlotte, take it off. No, Charlotte just... needs to take a wet wet. No, with Luke's once talking a about his women having a stink going on. I'm saying, what is it you enjoy? <laughs> Take a wet wipe with you. Take a wet wipe to the bathroom. No, no, no. You're one of them. You're one of them. When you're when you're fucking shot with mine, this is you. And you get a wet wipe. I was like, you're doing for my but like, right, let's stop this one now. Let's turn around. No, 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 no. You look, you look. Oh, fuck you, know. <laughs> it's a fucking mess down there. <laughs> oh, fuck you, know. Looks like a man's ass. <laughs> how, would, well, how would you know? What it looks I, don't, like? I don't know. It's what I imagine it to look like. You imagine what a man's ass looks like? No, it just smells like. You imagine what a man's ass smells like? <laughs> yeah. No, I don't imagine. <laughs> I'm saying it would. <laughs> that's what it'd be like. But do I, you... like, I, like, I like I like the I like the aroma. I like I like the aroma of vagina. I like the vagina aroma. Yeah, but that's um, endorphins and and pheromones. But you saying you don't like? You want her to go and wash and you want you want to smell dove. Yeah, but that, I wouldn't expect anyone to smell that on there, on me. Why? Because it would knock them fucking out, Luke. What? How, okay, I don't know. I, I don't smell that bad. How long have you waited? Well, if, I, I guarantee I, I, I if wish. I put my hand in your crotch right now. Look, bruv. All right. Bruv. If I, hold on. Right. What, take, if, listen, if, hold on. Okay, one Pete, second. Take it easy. I am taking it easy, but this is fucking food for thought. <laughs> if I put my hand down there and your crotch is there and I go. Are you telling me it's not going to smell? You're a, a fucking smell. liar. You smell a sweat. Exactly. It's stanky. Yeah, yeah no. <laughs> It's not, it's not. It's not that bad. It's not. It's not. A, sweat doesn't stink all the time. Look, if I go down and let me smell it, then no, I, yeah, exactly because it's rank. No, mate. because that's fucking gay. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't smelling my no, fucking. No, I'm saying to you. Fucking point. Leave, leave, leave people outside like this. Like this. <laughs> <laughs> they're gonna comment. Ah! They're, gonna, they're, gonna, they're gonna. They're gonna comment. Smell the crotch. <laughs> smell the crotch. No, but this is what we're, if we're talking about. It, if we're getting down to it, you got to be honest. Yeah. All right, but you're not going to smell my crotch. I don't want to smell it. You, you... think I want to smell down there? What? We're not doing. What the fuck? We think we did? We'll say that one for Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> Pay the money. <laughs> Dig your pocket. Uh, fucking hell. We'll be selling little, uh, little paper things. You know when you get the perfume in the magazine. We'll yeah, yeah. <laughs> we wouldn't like sell sheets. my one because no like, one would like sheep. What? I was like, sheet. Like yeah. yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Oh, I don't know about smells. No, I like, I like, I like, I'm, I'm, I like, I'm, do you know what? If I don't like a smell, I'm fucking, I'm, I'm, I can, I can remember, I can remember being in school and messing around with a girl and I can still remember how bad her vagina smelled now. Yeah, that's, that's shameful. Was it, was it sharp? It, it, it was, it was, Okay, we, we was messing around, um, like in the <clears> like, like little chalet thing, like and, and like it was in the dark. We were messing around, and I think, and then and I don't know why I smelt my hand, and I, I was like, Why would you? Why, why would you smell the hand? Fuck. I was like, Fuck me. Because it can send you a bit. Maybe it's kind of like when they do the spray, that's so strong that you like go disorientated a bit. It just smelled like shit. Why? Why? I assume she hadn't washed in a yeah, very long that's time. That's what you're saying. You that's what yeah, I was no, saying I, to you I, about I smells. In a very long time. So what is the time frame that you'd be happy with? Like I don't know. Like you said, running around for a day. Uh, okay, I could go. I could be all right with two days. Two. 
you. You'd be happy with them or yeah, yeah, you yeah, can yeah, be. Yeah, yeah, I'd be happy with them. Two days, mm. 48 hours. 48 hours. And what have they done in the 48 hours? Like brush their te- brushing their teeth has to be done daily. Twice? Yes. Oh, of course. Yes. And then my funeral was hang out in the, in the, in the apartment, chilling yeah. out. Yeah. I'm all right with that. But we bang. And then have, have you waited longer than the 48 days? 48 days. That's the 48 that's hours. <laughs> <laughs> that, wow. That is good. Great. Fuck you. Know. Have you ever waited longer than 48 hours? What do you mean? It's not, it's not, it's not a smart woman. But do you go out of your way to smell or is it just like... Well, so, well, sometimes, sometimes, no, you, you can be behind. That's what I said. Like, sometimes that that will help me not, man. Like, that, that waft comes up. I'm like, whoa, that's that's the smell of some good puss, man. Yeah, no, I'm um, good for you. Good luck in your endeavors. Uh, yeah. You'd be on your very way. Yeah, go on. And I'll I'll go back my way. So, what, so would you, would you, would you, if if Charlotte had, uh, had come... Oh, oh, let's not talk... <laughs> Let's not use names. Let's <laughs> just be a bit more open about what we're talking about. A, a woman, a woman, a, if you dated a woman, yeah. yeah, and um, she she came in from work. If and, her, and, I, and you're horny, she's horny. Would you be like, can you shower first? If if we're both extremely horny, then I'm just the pants won't even come off. I'll do it. It's yeah. I'll wait, go wait, straight. Wait, wait, you, you put it through, the, through your boxer hole? Yeah, well, I've done that once. <laughs> You've had sex through the boxer hole? Yeah, of course. That's horny. Bro, that is weird. What, why? You put your dick through the boxer hole? Yeah. What's wrong with that? You're talking about smelling an arse while you're fucking going I at it. I, nobody said an arse here. All right, well, you're... No, I right. said pussy. I, right, you're right. the one who said arse. Yeah, but she sits, she's bent over in front of you and it's open. Yeah. Yeah, so you can definitely have a... Have you ever gone, okay, that's not <laughs> as clean as what I wanted it to be? <laughs> no, no. But listen to this. You had sex through the boxer hole. Yeah. But you can't feel the skin. It's through the thing. It's through the hole. <laughs> yeah, but what about the cheeks? I can feel the cheeks with my hands. What do you mean? I don't have fucking fingertips down here. Yeah, but mate. don't you like the clappy and the back on you? Yeah, but I'm like, think, like, dude, it's that's extremely like, that's just like you're going for it. It's like the moment has taken over. Yeah, but, I'm not even got time. Yeah, to take them off. Yeah, but that's weird. Like you're like you're like, oh, I'm so horny. One second. No, it's not. It's like, oh, I'm so horny. Mm, ah, <laughs> yes. And I'm walking around, and it looks like the boxes are on, and it's like, <laughs> but I'm still inside it. <laughs> Really? Yeah. That is that to me is fucking weird. This episode's disgusting. Listen, it is what it is, man. This is this is me being honest. I don't. Yeah, I'm, we're I'm getting not honest. Here. I'm not here to fucking. Yeah, we don't you. piss about like everyone else. All right. If you want to come and smell, have a smell of him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. Cool. Shame. I don't like. I don't. This is because this is as it stands now. I done a test, and I'm very low on shame, but high on guilt. So they're basically saying... How do you do the test? Online. See, when, when I think about you... Oh, is it... Sh- are you shamed? So shame. I think you would... If I started going, Luke, that's fucking disgusting. You'd be like, is it? You'd be... You'd question why. Oh, what if you... No, I fucking... I don't think you'd make me question. Like what? But it's like, give me an example of something. Like you do, you do. You say like me liking the smell. I don't give a fuck. Okay, well, what about we're talking about the arse? What about it? If a girl was like, look, your arse smells. If a girl said my arse smells. <laughs> yeah. It, well, I'd say, well, or if I said, look, you're smelling a bit like poo, man. Yeah, okay. Well, then that is my hygiene. I'll, I'll try and clean myself no, up. No, but would you be ashamed? No. You wouldn't feel any shame? No, no shame at all. What would you think then when I said that? Would you be like, oh, thanks, man? What would you think? My, I'd smell myself and I'd be like, oh, Fucking like, you know. hell. Or if I can't smell it, I'll be like, all right, thanks for letting me know. And I'll try and clear it up straight away. But I'm very low. I've, I am very low. Like other people stand. I try to stay away from other people's standards. What are you laughing at? <laughs> Go on. What are you thinking? No, no. You farted. Oh, for fuck's sake. 
talking of smells. <laughs> I'm ashamed of that. I tell you. <laughs> no, no, all right, for calm down, Pete. Yeah, but I don't, I don't, I don't give a fuck about. But I do, I do feel, I do feel guilt. I do feel guilt. Like if I've done, if I've wronged somebody, I do feel guilt. Give me an example of wronging someone. Um. There's people back in the day when I was on the road that I've robbed and I feel like they didn't deserve oh, it. Oh God. All right, let's not <laughs> camera's fucking looped. The camera's... <laughs> Oh, there's people back in the day I killed. Yeah, yeah, no, no, we didn't go that far. No, that all right, far. but you robbed them. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Well, I think anyone would feel guilty about that. No, some people fucking deserve it. Oh <laughs> all right, Luke. There's people there's people that's robbed Calm down, robbed, Luke. robbed as robbed. Do they get robbed? Do they deserve it? But yeah, yeah. some people that didn't deserve it. Um there's things like the situation with my kid's mum I feel a little bit guilty about. Oh, uh, you always talk about that. Yeah. You definitely, you've got, um, there's a pain to you about your kid's mum, I think. Mm. But I don't think you need to be because you support her. Yeah, but it's like, it's, you it's haven't the, it's run the, away. It's the life, it's, it's, it's kind of the life of like a family life that you've deprived someone you of. You haven't you know deprived I mean? anyone of anything though, I don't think. Because your kids are still spend time with you here. And you still go over there and you have a good relationship with the mom. So there's no, it's just like the relationship didn't work out. Yeah, but it's like, it's, it's kind of like, no, I th- you've I f- robbed someone or something. No, you know I, I mean? feel like you feel guilty because you've let, you've broken up or whatever. Mm. And you feel like you've hurt her maybe. And you, you know, you wish you didn't, mm. but, but it was, it happened maybe like, but you, you, if you could, have her be happy. I think you would. Do you know what? Because do you know what it feels like? It washes. If we went our separate ways and we had no kids, yeah, it would feel I wouldn't have no issue. Mm. But I feel like it's the harder, motherhood. It's harder for a woman. Yeah, I know. Yeah, to meet somebody. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, and you can't turn around and go go out and meet someone. Mm. Yeah, but it's that's life, man. Isn't it? Mm. But you feel that's what I mean. But kind of things I feel I feel guilty. You about. feel guilty. I've got something similar. My cousin, um, I feel guilty and shamed sometimes because my cousin, when I stay around his house, like he has a real problem because he says I leave Peter pubes everywhere. Like I leave my, I shed my hair. Do you? Yeah. So he's like, when I stay around his, he'll sweep up. He's a clean freak. He's a clean freak. And he'll sweep up and he's like, They're bl- he's blonde, right? It's like they're black hairs. They're Peter pu- they're pubes. Uh, but I'm like, but they do look like pubes. I admit they do look like pubes. I don't know. I must. One second, Pete. Oh, the misgets, yeah. the misgets, right. <clears throat> Correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah. Do you do I that? talked about breaking up my yeah, but family. Change. One second here. Why? Right. I pulled up breaking up my family. Yeah. And you say, oh, I understand what you mean, Luke. I've got the same. I've got the same. I've got the same no. kind of problem. No, I'm I, talking about. I leave, I leave Peter pubes <laughs> around my cousin's house. I'm talking, house. About, sh- and you're I'm talking, talking about, about shame. Wait, you, I'm talking about guilt. I feel guilty and ashamed because uh, they are mine. He's shaming you. He's shaming me. But he's a, he's a clean freak. I wouldn't. I wouldn't give a fuck about that. I'd be like, listen, here's what he is. I know, but he's like the type of guy, like when he goes to the toilet and wipes his ass, he uses half the roll. Do you know what I saw? And he I blocks went, the toilet. I went. I was sorry. Was this? I went to a pub to do a gig the other day. Yeah. Yeah. And was in this the one gig, I was at, you were. No, 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 no. In the toilet, in the toilet, it was like, please don't use very much toilet roll. Yeah. And I'm thinking, what the. I ain't got no fucking control over that. <laughs> yeah. I'll use as much as I, as little as I can. No, no, but they don't want you to block the toilet. Yeah, but listen, I don't, you're not going to use more than necessary, are you? Well, you want to clean it. Exactly. So I'll use the adequate amount. Yeah, I know. Sometimes but... I need to use a lot. Sometimes, like, sometimes, sometimes you wipe with one and you're like, there's nothing there. Yeah, one white wonder. That's like when one, you turn one, in, one, one, oh, one, one white wonder. Okay. It's like when you turn into a cat because a cat's ass opens and closes. That's why there's no shit on the other thing. What about a dog? A do- dogs are like they they leave. Dogs are different, but that's why. If you oh, have right, you ever looked at a cat's are, ass, bro, bro, dogs don't need to wipe. Have out. you ever looked at a cat's ass? Mm, well, I've seen one. Yeah, have you looked in, into it? Have I looked in? Have you l- looked and gone, oh, that's that's different to another ass? 
because no. it opens and closes apparently. When it's taking a shit. Yeah, that's but they why. shit in a kit, a cat litter box. Yeah, how but the they don't do need to see? wipe their bum. How do you see that? How come you never see a cat going like running along the ground, scraping its bum no, like no, a no, dog no, does? No, they do that because they've got worms. Oh, is that why they do it? Yeah, not to clean their ass. I thought it was to clean their bum sometimes. No, it's because they got worms. They but they don't do that all the time. They do that very like. Yeah, I worm. know. Some of them don't care. But um. No, my cousin, I'm sorry, I'm gonna tell my cousin's story. My cousin once said he, he he was having sex. He went to go and have he had a bike a bike accident. He had a bike accident. Motorbike. Yeah, motorbike. Yeah, yeah. And and he couldn't he couldn't get his he, he couldn't get his dick up. Oh. And he thought he, it was broken. He went, he went to go and some girl was trying to get him. Come on, come on, let's have a go. And she she pulled down her trousers and bent over and he went to, he he got firm. He got mm. firm. He's like, all right, cool. And then he looked and she had um shit shit in the, uh, the uh, bum. Yeah. Oh, and he, he lost his erection immediately. Oh. I'd uh, leave. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I would leave. <laughs> would you? I'd leave. How can you not wipe your ass properly? <laughs> well, have, have you never had skin marks? In the bowl, yeah, but not on my bum. You've never had skin marks in your boxer shorts? Oh, when I pick it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like when I scratch the hole from inside my boxes. <laughs> you scratch the hole from inside. You scratch your bum hole. I no with the I I use my boxes. <laughs> Do you know what it looks like you're doing? What? Pressing a secret button under no. the desk, like you know, like like, like someone's like uh, emergency, emergency, <laughs> yeah, yeah, emergency. Yeah. You scratch your bum hole. Yeah, sometimes it might get a bit itchy. Does yours never get itchy? No, not my bum hole. Your bum holes never got itchy. Well, not not that I can remember. You may have, you may have worms. No, there's no. Wor I've never seen worms on the tissue when I wipe my bum. Yeah, I don't. I don't, I don't you're not necessarily. You might not necessarily see them. I don't know how it works. You know, in Spain, they don't like. So you one second. You don't. You've never had skid marks. What is skid marks? Shit stains in your boxes. Oh yeah, I get them all the time. Like that's I'm not saying that doesn't happen. I'm saying that happens. Well then obviously you haven't wiped your ass properly then. No, I have though. Because I spit when I wipe. <laughs> <laughs> what? You spit where? On the tissue. I need to wet wipe my bum. You spit on tissue and then wipe your ass. I think you've told me this before. Have I? Yeah, yeah. Do you? Yeah, what would you do? Dry wipe? Yeah, I dry and wipe. And you don't get an itchy bum? No. You <laughs> spit, but you have saliva in your bum. It's on the tissue. It's just to give it a bit of wetness. This is disgusting, but this, yeah, is, but this is the truth. Yeah, hold but, on. Hold so, okay. Yeah, but if you're out and about, and yeah. I've got no wet wipes, and I don't have access to a sink, spit on it. How often? How long? You, who taught you to do that? No one taught me. I just thought, oh, I've got no... Do you know anybody else who does that? No. Because <laughs> that's not fucking normal. Well, what would you do? Just dry wipe? That's what I do. I dry wipe, yeah. What do you do if there's no tissue? Wet tissue? I... There is normally not no wet tissue. I wipe until there's no more shit on a tissue. Yes. And then I guarantee if you wipe and you keep wiping and then smell it, it'll smell of shit. No, you know, Even though there's nothing do on. You know it. what? This is me, bud. Fuck, this, this, this is this is took this is called fucking <laughs> south. Fuck you know. All right, this cool. be a Patreon episode. <laughs> <laughs> All right, <clears throat> let's get. We had questions, didn't we? Yeah. Get did, the questions. Did, 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 did you did you want to talk about the new? No, let's talk about the new story first. Let me get to the questions. Oh, okay. Time. Um. All right. Do you know what the top news story I found? I found out last week was um. Energy drinks apparently are making men go bald. How do they know this? They they done a test in China. I wouldn't trust. I wouldn't trust these tests. Energy drink. Any uh, drinking energy drinks accelerates hair loss for men. Study finds. And sweet drinks. If you drink sweet drinks as well, apparently it accelerates hair loss. Energy is coffee an energy drink. I think they said coffee with sugar in it. So hence today, I haven't had any sugar. Oh, and it tastes like them. fucking shit. Yeah. <laughs> it tastes like That's shit. That's why I drink that without sugar. Do you like the taste of it? I'm trying to lose weight because on TikTok, they all call me fat once. And I was like, oh, <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. What it was. Yeah, I know. I was like, fuck that. I need to lose a bit of weight. 
And then I looked on the guy's profile, and he was fucking fat. <laughs> I was like, what? Yeah. What the hell is well, this? Well, it takes one to know one, isn't it? <clears throat> yeah, and he was bald as well. Probably drinking fucking energy drinks too much. What do you, what do you think about that, though? What, the energy drinks make, make you bald? It, yeah. The energy drinks... Do people drink them before sex? Is that a thing? I don't know. I, well, well, I, I, I thought that I, was. I, I, the, I, I used to drink. Do you know what? I what? thought that was what um, Red Bull meant when they said Red Bull gives you wings. I thought it was like, oh, it gives you a boner then. I thought it was like, it gives you energy for sex. I thought that's what the campaign was getting at. Really? Yeah, but apparently. Why, why wings? Well, because they can't say Red Bull gives you a. <laughs> yeah, but why wings? Well, wings. I don't know. Well, what like? Why do you associate wings with fucking the heart? flying and like? Oh, I'm excited. I'm flying. Like I'm having sex. It's great. And like everyone in the club having a Red Bull and Coke, a Red Bull and um, vodka. Like I thought. Oh, okay, it's like obviously an aphrodisiac. Really? Well, that's what I thought. But obviously, it's just energy. Yeah. But they don't say Red Bull fucking makes you lose your hair. No, of course. Why the fuck would they? Yeah, but how do they? Why, how does the Chinese know that? They've done the study. They've done a test that's saying that it accelerates hair loss, forty-two percent or something like that. Forty-two percent hair loss. <laughs> yeah, you know what? My, Shit, when, when, when that's we, a lot when, of hair. When we was dr- when we was doing the drink delivery back in the day, me and my cousin, we used to we used to drink them like they were fuckers. We'd work late into the night, and yeah. we used to drink them all the time. So if they fuck it, if that's fucking true, that means I'm gonna fucking yeah, sue but them. Is it? Is it? Long, uh, do you have to keep doing it, or is it like well, I still kind of drink red? But I'm gonna cut him out now. Yeah, cut that out, Luke. Mm, you see me drinking them, innit? I have seen you drinking them. Mm. Let me see your hair. You are like, go down though. Yeah, there's a little bit there. It's kind of thin here. Like, yeah, but thin. I saw that in yours as yeah, well. Yeah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's settle <laughs> down. <laughs> Don't yeah. need to point it out to everyone. <laughs> I think mine says does do a bit of that. Yeah. Does it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Let me see. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. You yeah, can see it's the, thin, you can, but you I can, think also that's just getting old. Yeah, yeah. Like we're all gonna get old one day. We're gonna fucking die but one some, day. But some people keep their fucking hair, and I'm like, you I know, bu- you bastards, bastards. <laughs> you bastards. Yeah, but what? Like, I'm bald, guys. When you see bald guys, sometimes you're a bit like, oh, I feel sorry for you. But they do don't care. Do you, you, do you, they accept it. Do you know what? Do you know they're saying um, dating on dating <clears> sites? It's like everything's getting consolidated and m- us mating as human beings, yeah? Yeah. Do you know there's like 30%, 30% of men, eligible men between like 20 and 30 something or something like that, yeah. yeah? Can't, haven't, haven't had, had sex with a woman in the last year. Yeah, but yeah, but I've had that sometimes. Well, you've got a year. Um, yeah, I've got a year. Yeah. Well, since I've started having sex, I've never gone a year about having sex. Yeah, but people. Yeah, but it's different because you're kind of like people are like, oh, it's it's big. Like, oh, what? It's like, oh, go on, give someone that. But with me, they're like, mm, nah. How long's the longest you've gone about having sex? Probably about a year. Really? Yeah, but I didn't care when I was younger. I was like. I'd be too pissed. Sometimes I'd be trying to have sex and it's just like a jelly thing down there. It's just not going to happen. Really? I'd yeah. be fucking upset, man. What? No, I didn't care. There's no shame in that. No, I was no drunk, shame. mate. You was drunk? I'd be drunk. I'd be so. I'd be paralytic drunk. I'd be drunk. I'd be like... Having thrown up and coming in. So it's kind of like it wouldn't work anyway. They're saying they're saying there's three things that women look for in a man, yeah? yeah. Criteria when they're dating. Now, Funniness. Yeah? No. The number one is signals of wealth. I haven't yeah. Number two is what was number two? Good looking. Intelligence. Yeah. Intelligence. And the third one is kindness. I'm I am kind. All right, cool. Now, on these dating sites, it's hard to signal intelligence mm. and it's hard to signal um kindness yeah so it's very easy to show signs of wealth so you can by, fake so it by, though by location yeah trying a little rolex in the picture yeah, yeah, yeah. do you know what i mean so they're saying the, they're saying that 90 percent of women go for like 10 percent of the men and the 90 percent of the men have to share between 10 percent of the women yeah 
which means it's every man for himself. But with the women, they they can choose whoever they want. No, but they're not choosing whoever they want. They're choosing ten, a very small portion of men. Yeah, but it's because women can be shallow when they choose. I think this whole who who's more shallow than a man when they're choosing. Well, you you, you like like yeah, what, but you said ninety percent of women choose the ten percent of the rich guys. Yeah, yeah. What man is searching going? Let me find a rich woman. It's, no, I've, they're saying let me find a slim woman. You, yeah, exactly. Like, like when, 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 but I'd be thinking, let me find a bloody rich one. Would you? Would you date? Would, if you were going to settle down, would you choose a woman with, with money over looking good? Well, I think if a woman's rich already, then they're not going to come looking for me for money. So that's one tick box tick. So if a woman's rich already, Luke. Yeah. And she's good looking and she fancies me. I'd be like, where, where are you taking me? No, one second. She's rich, but she is fat and ugly. Swipe the other way. Okay. Yeah. She's beautiful, but she's poor. Oh. <laughs> Does your dad have any money? <laughs> no, no, no. She's poor. She works as a waitress somewhere. Oh, she's a waitress. So she does work. Yeah, but she's poor. I don't mind about the poorness. Exactly. That's what men, men don't care about wealth, economic, women do. Yeah. It's like, it's like this, this is what I've realized. I wrote this down, I wrote this down, I was trying to write some jokes over it, I wrote this down. Mm. A poor man is the equivalent to an ugly or old woman. Yeah, because women look for rich guys. Right, so you so They want man, someone to look after them. That, that man's irrelevant to them. And, yeah. and the ugly fat ones are, do you know, to be fair, I like, I like a, a thicker woman. You know me, I like a thicker woman. You look a f big woman. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but you said, what did you say? Thicker woman. You like a bit, you like the thick women and you want obviously the her to be rich as well. No. You want her to be poor. So you no, no I, don't, I didn't say I want her to be poor. Okay. How, uh, what, were you, what would you like her to be? <laughs> I don't mind. You, yeah. But what I'm saying is women probably want, they act like, oh, I'm powerful, but they want like a rich man. Yeah, of course they do. Yeah. yeah. Don't act like you don't. No. But it but goes back, it goes back to like we're animals, man. Apparently we the women look for that in the man because they the resources they want for their young, for their for their offspring. Yeah. Have a you ever, man that can provide. Have you ever seen that prank they do online on YouTube and like they the go gold digger ones? Yeah. And they get found out very quickly. I want it's so obvious. I can't I don't know if it's is it true. Well, if it is, someone needs to go and slap that woman. Why? Because you're a cunt. Okay, let me tell you this. They're so, that is so fucking rude. Because they sack that no. guy off. And then when they find out he's rich and he owns the Lamborghini, they because want him. A, because he's attractive. And they leave their boyfriend. Because he, he's attractive. They leave their boyfriend as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they, I, they need. They, they, I, saw, I saw this clip of these people that were dating. They, they were dating in the dark. Mm. Dating in the dark. Yes. Yeah, so, and also, if it was a man doing that, he needs to slap. So equal territory. All right, calm down. Fuck it. She doesn't. Pete gets very scared. Yeah. Yeah. Is, is it this? Because you know some people be like, he, he he was dating women, so they're doing it in the dark. So he's basically trying to work out a personality. Yeah. Yeah. And this guy kept on like turning down big women, and I was like, how does he? How was he doing this? Like he kept on what, down how, down. in the dark. Yeah. But what he? What, where, do, where, where, where? Hold on. How is it, where? Where, are, where is he? So I don't know. Some, I saw a clip of it. So I don't know. Some dating show, I think. Oh, is it um, Love is Blind? I'm not are sure. they behind the screen? No, no, they're not oh. behind the screen. It's just a dark. It looks like I think it's infrared camera, so they can see. Oh, right. They can't see. Yeah, no. and he, he felt the like, floorboards going. What, 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 no, what he used to what? do? He used to go, "Oh, I love to meet you. Just give me a hug." <laughs> when he uh, so he didn't let. Oh, I think that's kind of rude, though. Yeah, but, but this is sometimes what I'm it's just what a man but, need. No, like, but, if no, I was no, with a big exact, woman, it would be like it wouldn't work. No, it's why not? Well, because. Uh, it's not my, uh, it look weird. And this is why, this is why I think it's wrong for men to be upset at women. For what? When they want a rich man. No, but, no, but I'm not rich. Yeah, I'm saying, you're saying these women who like the gold, do the gold digger thing, they get called gold diggers. No, Luke, but they leave their boyfriend, those ones, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's bad. Yeah, that's really bad because you're like, okay, I'm going to jump to something better because something better has just come along. Now you're a prick mm. for doing that. So uh, if 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 
You was with a woman yeah. for for three months and then she blew up massive. Well, like famous. No, size. Oh. Oh. Uh-huh. She and and what and did I blow up as well? No, she just got big. Right. No? Huh? Yeah. How would you feel? <laughs> How would you feel? Well, I'd be like, what happened? <laughs> Oh, yeah, I'd, idiot. I'd be like, what? what? That is a bit of a, come on. What went wrong there? <laughs> All right, you know what? Let's move on. We're gonna buy that time. Let's just go. Just go to the to the, to the sheets that sent us in stuff. Oh, we the pre- sheetsters! We, we appreciate you sending us in in this stuff to sort out your. We love problems. you, sheetsters. To sort out to sort out your sheet. We'll sort right. out that sheet. All right, cool. Let's just 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 go to this one. This is one. It's from Becky. All right. Becky. My boyfriend asked me to move in with him before Xmas and I was so excited. He lives with his best mate at the moment, so I thought he would be moving out or would be moving to or we would be moving to a new place. Turns out he wants the three of us to live together. His mate is okay, but I don't want to live with him. What should I do to sort out this sheet? <laughs> Becky. All right, Becky. All right, Becky, that's a good question, yeah, Becky. Right. Right, how would you what, what, what's your that's advice? Fucking good one, Becky. Becky let bygones be bygones in this scenario. This sounds like my dream scenario. If me, Charlotte, and Luke lived together, I'd fucking love it. It would. It. Hold on. What about what about when I want women? You take. That's fun. Then we can all have a little. Oh, let's see. We all get. <laughs> <laughs> no. Fuck I didn't mean it, it like that. Fuck you. Know. No, I didn't mean it like Jesus that. Jesus All right, let's <laughs> swap. <laughs> Switch! <laughs> they walk across the room. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's a, that'd be fun. What we, would we'd be? be like, we, we get to me and Charlotte stand there like a new woman comes in like, okay, <laughs> let's see if you're after him for his money. Because <laughs> <laughs> the fucking ain't nothing. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see what's going on here. <laughs> keep well, the night, tell you keep what, the night, I'll darling. Be, I'll be like, <laughs> Yeah. Shut up, Luke. <laughs> uh, no, no, well, yeah, Becky, chill out, man. <coughs> and you'll get to know him, who he is. You meet, if you meet a yeah. man's friends, live there for a while. Mm, fucking Becky with her nose in the sky. Yeah, come on, Becky, man. Yeah, chill. Look, move in with him. Stay there for You're saving on the cost of energy cost crisis. Cost of living crisis. Yes. What, are you rich, Becky? Yeah. Becky, yeah. just chill out. Go in there, play some Xbox or PlayStation. Yeah. It's social. Yes. We're going back to the Stone Ages, Becky. No one can afford to live in a one-bedroom flat anymore. You need to share that shit. Yes. It's expensive. Now, I know it's going to be awkward having sex. Having sex, you have to do that quiet one that me and Charlotte have yeah. where you use the foot for leverage. Yes. <laughs> get, your cam- get your foot out of the way of my camera. <laughs> but that's what you got to do, Becky. That, but don't be shy, don't break, Becky. Don't break up the gang because yeah. you want to bang. And don't be shy and don't take it up. <laughs> the don't take it up the what? The poop shoot. The, the poop shoot. <laughs> Why can't you take out the poop shoot? Because it'll be loud and it'll be like, oh. yeah. Anyway, Becky, relax. It's yeah. okay. It's all right, man. Just move don't, in. Don't I, be I would scared. Suggest, I, would, I would say just you move in, have a time there and see how things work out. Go yeah? for a six if month he, if contract. He, if, he, if, he, if he's being immature and you realize being, him being around his friend, he's not being yeah. himself, then I'd suggest you, mm. you have, you've learned who he is. You yeah. say either we move out together or... Or I'll move out on my own. Yeah, but you know. give it six months. Yeah, give it six months. See and maybe suggest one of your friends moving in. Oh. To have a little back and forth. Yeah. That sounds- and maybe the two friends, but then your boyfriend will at least see, ah, now you know what it's like when Susan comes around and doesn't bloody put away her dirty knickers. All right? So I suggest just let it be. Try it out. I wouldn't mind it. Mm. Would you would you mind if Charlotte's friend moved in? Oh, if Charlotte's friend moved in. Oh yeah. Well, it depends what one. Why is that? Because some of them are fucking annoying, man. No, actually, they're actually really <laughs> nice. <laughs> Let's <laughs> move on. Thanks, listen. Becky. Becky, thank you. Appreciate thank the you, question. Becky. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Any one. any of you other guys have questions? Don't be scared to send them through. Send them through to our email address at help at lukeandpete.com and we'll address them on the podcast. Yeah, help at lukeandpete.com. Go on, Luke. What's the next one? I really fancy my manager at work. 
We make each other laugh a lot and he can be quite flirty. She's fine. A lot of people know that I have She's a crush on filth. him. I have a crush on him. Recently, I was in the office alone during the lunch break. Oh. And I decided to Google him. Oh, I thought you were going to say she started touching herself. No, I, had, I had my headphones in, so I didn't hear people coming back from lunch. They came in and saw me looking at him on Google Images. It was so embarrassing. I wanted to die. I'm sure someone had someone has probably told him, what would you do if you were me? Oh, my God. So she got right. caught perving. Hold on one second. I really fancy someone that make each other laugh a lot. Okay. All right, cool. That's from JS. JS, JS. you perv. Okay, JS. JS right. having a little snoop. All right, listen. We're not school kids here. JS. How old is JS? Doesn't say. Well, she's working. Yeah. Her boss as well. Is she the same age as our boss or is he older? All right, what's wrong? What's wrong there? Well, I'm just working out whether he's got a family. Is he cheating? Is, is he... Well, whoa, whoa, you're adding too much. Well, let's, let's just find let's out from JS. Let's, JS, let's, let us know. Let's, let's assume he's single. He's single. Yeah. Why is he single? What do you mean? Well, why hasn't it? Why haven't you made a move, JS? Fucking hell, what's going on? Well, maybe because of this culture that's going on at the moment, he doesn't want to get wrapped up in a me fucking too. All right, well, she's going around bloody perving on him on Google. Yeah, I would say, JS, you make the move. Yeah. In this day and age, let him know. <laughs> get, get, give, her, give him a written contract that yeah. you are interested in him. So that so way, don't, don't give a contract. No, you fucking need one. Fucking 10 years later down the line, fucking, oh, God, this guy, mate, you know what I mean? Yeah, but Luke, then you're so, you don't need a contract. I would want a contract. You'd make a woman write a contract. Fuck, hell fucking yeah. In this day and age, yes, I fucking would. Yeah, if, I get, worked well, with well, them, if I worked with them. Oh, if you worked with them, yes. Yes. I worked with Charlotte. She never made me do a contract. Yeah, it was before that time. I don't care. I wouldn't have done it now. Okay, so, okay, you're single now. I'm single. And a woman comes to date you in your workplace. You the... think nine months later, yeah, it doesn't work out. Right, see ya. She's like, he forced me into this. I did fucking not. Yeah, you I... threw yourself at me, you cow. <laughs> fucking hell. Try to tell me in the nose. <laughs> yeah. Go on. Yeah, exactly. But how are you going to prove it? Prove that I fucking did it to you. They don't, they don't, the burden of proof is on you. Got text messages. You got text you messages. You whoring yourself out to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I felt pressured because you're my boss. I fucking felt pressure to lick you out. <laughs> you dirty cunt. Fuck, fucking you don't dirty, fucking bring it into me, dirty. mate. No, listen to me. Jay, if, Jay I, 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 would, I would assume, I would assume that you, you, in order to make things go smoothly, I think, I think he probably knows you, you like him. He, be, you, he you're knows. Quite, you're quite, Trust you're me, quite, you're quite, quite flirty. Quite, you're quite flirty. You're quite flirty and you're fucking throwing it out there. Yeah, yeah. And he probably has access to your computer. So he's probably searching. Yeah. So I would say. I'd Be go careful. I go up to him and I'd say, listen, I like you. I don't want to get things mixed up at work. Yeah. And here's, we just got to. Here's, here's a written contract. Yeah. To say that anything goes. Yeah. And at the next office party, you go over to him if you fancy him and you start, start, play the game. Start throwing your stuff at him. Let him know what is about there and show him who's boss. Yeah. You show him who's boss. Yeah. So you, take yeah, yeah, the bull you, by the that, horns. That, that is good you way. You show that. him who's, who's boss. boss. Yeah. Not, he's not the boss. You are the boss. You're the boss. JS. Uh, JS. Yeah. And no one ain't going to do shit if you can bring it no on No one ain't going to do shit, JS. No one ain't going to do jack shit. Yeah, but be JS, careful. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and don't J do... JS, jack shit. Don't it, exactly. Comedy. <laughs> <laughs> but don't do, don't force it on him. Be fair. And don't let, don't just be aware and have your friends around when stuff happens. So yeah. there you go. All right, there we go. Cheers, right. Jess. Right. All right, next, next one. one. All right. Um... Oh, it's good. Oh, do you know what she, do you know what she asked? She said, should I, I didn't even see this, should I leave my job? Hell fucking no. No. If anything, you're going to stay and get promotion. Yes, exactly. Yeah. You're the boss's pet Yeah, exactly. Now. Leave your job. Don't leave the job. Then you can communicate when you go back. Okay. Yeah, come for the interview. Apply for this job. I'm going to set up the role. Yeah. Then you're good. The on money. The lunch, on the lunch break, he bangs you at the back of your desk. Don't leave your job, mate. No, 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 no sorry. I didn't that, see that'd that. be stupid. Yeah. All right. And cool. you don't want to be stupid. No. All right. This one This one is titled Hair Down There. Hair Down There. Hair Down There. Hair Down There. What is your view on male grooming? My mm. mates were all rinsing me because I told them 
that I never, I have never trimmed my pubes. Mm. I am hygienic, shower every day, etc. So I don't think it's an issue. Do you guys shape up down there or do you think it's okay to be natural? He hasn't, he hasn't left his name. So we just call Is it a man? Well, I, I just, he said male grooming, so I'd assume it's a man. So we just call you jungle. Yeah. We call well, I mean, jungle. my pubes fall out sometimes. They, yeah, you was telling us. Yeah, but your cousin sweeps uh, but, them up. But I do like I'll, I'll shave and then if they grow out and whatever. But what I'm saying is like no one likes a man with a moth. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Hold, Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. One second. Let me say this. Yeah. Let me say this. This is. This is. <laughs> I've I've shaved my dick completely bald before. <laughs> <laughs> what to the skin? To the, I say my dick's just... complete. And I'm going to be honest with you. Oh, I'm going to be honest with you. That'll be, be funny. You. It looked fucking huge. Oh, did it? It looked, fucking, I'm t- it looked like a monster. Like it looked, it, when you remove the hair, it, fu- it looks like you've got fucking three more inches. No, of dick. no. Because I've done it as well. Uh, so, why you, like bro, a... why you acting, so why are you acting like you don't know what I'm talking but about? But it looked like a baby's dick. Because it looked like really like, oh. Yeah, okay. That's to do with your size, Pete. No. <laughs> That's yeah, he was massive. That's dude. Oh, oh that's you know, you know me, me, me and Pete was having a conversation in the car the other day. So we come, we come back, we come back to you in a minute, Jungle. We were having a conversation in the car the other day, and and then Pete was like, Pete was like, yeah, I make, I make Charlotte come. I was like, I was like do you make? Oh, I was like, do you make her come? Yeah, He's like, yeah, 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 I do. Every when, time when, when we're having, when we're having, um, I was like, I was, I, was, I was like, through penetration. Yeah. He's like, yeah, 100%. yeah. He's like, don't you? And I'm like, no, it, 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 it hurts them. And he was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> he was like, what? Yeah. Because why would you want to hurt them? No, you don't. I, you don't intend to. It's just. I know. A, it's well, just you a, need a reduction. Yeah, fuck off. What do, you, what do you mean? Fuck off. No, you do. You need, need a reduction. You need to find a big pussy girl. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you do. Do you big find pu- sometimes? Big pussy girl. What? Do you find sometimes? Yes. Yeah, so, oh, that's very sexy. I find it very sexy. When a woman can take dick, I find it very sexy. But what are you trying to say? Is it like deep or is it like a lot of space in there what do you mean when you say she, she can, can take it no no, no a lot of space lots, like she she can just take it i don't like who wants to who wants to fucking be fucking a fucking bagpipe yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hum, hum, hum. fucking tartan skirt. yeah 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 do you, do you, do you, remember, do you remember the the, the nessies the what Car, the cartoon the nessies Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Or like yeah. you bend it over and blow it and it goes. <laughs> you blow into the pussy. You blow across it. The pussy? Yeah, because it's like got a hole in it. Okay. Like you know when you do it to a bottle? Oh, okay. Jesus oh, Christ. Christ hello, Luke. hello. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> or you put your bloody head in it. Get in there. <laughs> have you ever tried to get inside with your head? No. I have. Have you? Yeah, because I got excited. Like, but only my eye went in. <laughs> Sorry. Oh God, this. Ah! <laughs> wow, it looks completely different than what uh, I thought. Isn't it? <laughs> yeah. All right. Cool. Jungle. Jungle. All right. What was Jungle's question? He 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 would say his mates oh. rinse him because he doesn't shave his pubes. I th- I think, it, but it's apparently you're not supposed to Jungle. If you want the health reason, you should grow a muff. Right. Mine is quite, at the moment, mine is quite, do you know the reason I don't shave mine? Because, um, because it itches. It fucking itches when you shave Mine's them. is kind of like, like, I'd say it's kind of like the link, uh, maybe a bit short, like that on you. Yeah, my, 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 mine is about the hair you got on your top of your head. Yours is that muffy? Yeah. That's disgusting. Is it an Afro version? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> It's like Shaq. Shaq. Shut your mouth. Yeah. Is that Shaq? <laughs> yeah. Who's Shaq? Shaq, you're the police about... officer. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shaq. 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 Yeah, it's 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 Shaq. Yeah, no. Like, my, my, mine is. I, or Shaft, isn't it? Shaft. Yeah, Shaft. That's it. Yeah, Shaft. Yeah, Shaft. Yeah, yeah. Shaq. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Now, nah, um, yeah, mine's got mine's bushy. Mine's bushy. Listen, do listen. you leave it look quite long? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I don't. Call it, I shave. Sometimes I shave. Do you know what I do? I, I, do, I shave a bald, let it grow out. I, I, I like to shave my ass. Yeah, I know. You've talked about that's disgusting. Because do you have a separate razor for that? 
I use I just use disposable razors anyway. Oh, but what if your son comes into the shower after and is like, "Oh, I need to shave." Use your ass razor. He doesn't. He doesn't. No, I just get rid of the razor after anyway. Oh, do you? Or yeah, yeah. It? And he does, my son doesn't shave at the moment. That's anyway. risky. Yeah, but he will. He'll be shaving soon. Yeah, well then you should fucking not use my razors, then. This fucking smells of shit. <laughs> Fuck it out! <laughs> Who's fucking right? This has been down the toilet! I mean, fucking dingleberries in this! Do, do you know what? I was fucking upset the other day. Do you know what? Not the other, a couple of weeks ago. Why? Like, because I went into the I went into the bathroom and and it's only my my um little scrunchy thing I used to clean myself. Oh yeah. So yeah. I'm, so my son came out of the shower and I went in there after him and I was and like, in... I like, can I tell my fucking story? <laughs> and I'm like, I'm like, where's I'm like, I said to you, where's my scrunchy? Where's where's your where's no where's your what are you using? Mm. He's like, oh, she's a scrunchie over there. Oh, yeah. Are you, am I you fucking mad? <laughs> That's my fuck. You'll be cleaning your balls in the same thing I've been using. Yeah, but he probably doesn't think it's a big deal, but you do. No, he doesn't think it's a big deal. I'm like, you crazy. Don't fucking like, use Dad, calm thing. down. No, I'm like, scrunchy. Really, like, no, listen. Yeah, but those things are disgusting anyway. Why? Because you think about it. You clean the shit off you. It's bacteria, yeah, all the bacteria you clean, thing, and then you leave it there. It fucking festers. Yeah, but and you, then you come back you, and you rinse it off. You rinse it off. It doesn't rinse it off, Luke. It's soap. You got soap there. No, it doesn't rinse it off. It does. It does prove it. It's oh, disgusting. Oh. It's DNA. I don't know. But jungle, jungle, relax. Well, don't. Who gives a fuck, man? Don't fuck. Your mate should. Your and, mate and if should have been fucking checking out, checking out your fucking length. What, what, have got a yeah. fucking ruler? Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, well, they like, let's see your bloody muff this week, jungle. Yeah. Yeah, yeah saw your mates out. Don't Jeez. worry about it, man. Like, yeah. let, let Grow it how you want it to grow. Yeah. Yeah? It's like it's, it's your hair, do it your way. Yeah, and don't be ashamed of yourself. Yeah, sometimes, but I'm going to be honest with you. A hat, if you shave it down, you look like you've got a big dick. You look like you've got a bigger dick. Sometimes. Yes. <laughs> Sometimes, not, my, not my so, case. Sometimes it reveals what the size really is. <laughs> yeah, right. And sometimes mine yeah. is. But it does, you know what it does? It does, it does look funny. Do you know what it is? No, no, no. When it's when it's when it's not um hard, when it's just when it's just it does look a bit like Well, because when you like, shave as well, the balls sometimes go yeah, in on themselves. No, no, no. So they don't hang, they just like No, my my like, mine just when it's just normal with no hair, just like this. Yeah, or it looks like it's going Yeah, yeah like it looks, it looks but weird. when it stands up with no fucking hair yeah. on it, it's like it's like yeah. It's like, it's like, you know, like Arnold Schwarzenegger like, yeah. and if he greased himself yeah, up. Yeah, I know. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, you know what <laughs> yeah. I mean? yeah, it's all right. So yeah, don't worry. Don't, don't let no one, don't let no one make you feel bad don't, about who the fuck you are. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Yeah. Go on. All right. Um, who else we got? All right. We were around at my mate's house and had a, re and had a really bad stomachache. I made it to the we? toilet. Say it again? Just say, we were around at my mate's house and had... I was supposed to say, oh, and I, I had, had, and I had a really bad stomachache, you want to say, yeah? I made it to the toilet just in time and let it all out. I felt better straight away. Later that evening, his mum came downstairs and said that there's a bit of poo on the floor in the bathroom. Oh my God. And asked whoever did it to go and clean it. I'm not sure how it would have happened, but it could have been me. The mum asked to go and clean it. Whoever no, did no it. one owned up, but oh. everyone thought it was our mate, our, our other mate. So everyone is still rinsing him. I feel bad because he's getting a lot of grief for it. Should I come clean no, or tell who? No, you should fucking not no come clean. Ever from the phantom, the phantom sheetster. Uh, phantom sheetster. Or someone doesn't want to be known. All right, cool. All right. So what's happened is. So someone. Do you know what? Do you know what? That's. Do you know what? I'm going to be honest with you. Yeah? That has happened to me. It has happened to me. Yeah. I've wiped and a, a little chunk, uh, but I've luckily. <laughs> I've luckily I caught it. I you hear you, you, well, you pull. No, 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 like no. Like you're no. fucking Mission Impossible. Saw, where it's no, a drop of sweat. No, 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 no. You know Mission Impossible. Is that what he said? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. It's like, yeah. <laughs> dum, 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 dum. Yeah, no, I, no. I saw it on the floor. I was like, what the fuck's that? Yeah, you, your, it's your shit. You know yeah. it's yours. How do you know it's yours? Yeah, uh, it fucking better be. Yeah. <laughs> And then, and then I picked it up and wiped, wet wipe and in the thingy, yeah. put it thingy. But listen, no face, no case is yeah. what I say. Let like, bygones be bygones. What in the fuck does that mean? You keep on saying that for different things. I don't know what it means, but it sounds good. No, it fucking doesn't. Well, let bygones, be, usually that means when you're arguing. Let it go, let it go. Yeah, yeah. If let your mate's go. getting grief, he should have fucking stand up for himself and say, listen, listen, a bit of shit drops from everyone's ass once in a while. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
No, I'll tell you one, no. day, one, day, one time it happened to me. But I didn't know what... So it was a situation where it was like... Because I've got in like Asian... Asian guts. A bit of worry sometimes. It's natural. It's Asian. So it's happened to me. I, I've been at someone's house and I've been sitting there for a few days and I've gone to the toilet and then they've cleaned the toilet a couple of days later and they're like, they've lifted up the lid and there's like poo splatters on the top of the lid and on the underside of the lid. The top of the lid? The top, uh, the, the, you know, you know the way the toilet, it, there's a bit of bowl. If you take away the lid, take away the seat, there's the toilet lid. lid the lid. Well, no, no. And the seat. You take away the lid and the seat. You've yeah. unscrewed them. There's that bit of ceramic there. That little area. Yeah. Landing. There's a landing. And then the toilet goes around like that. Yeah. It's gone on the landing. Wow. Yeah. And it's gone on the underside of the seat. And they've taken me in. So, so one second. So you, so basically you shit at the back here. Yeah. Because I lean forward like, like that. Yeah, really? Yeah. I know some girl who you, you start, you start shitting before she sat down and that happened. Yeah. Oh, go on. So it's gone up the thing. So your shit, your shit, like a, like a tail goes. Yeah. And it was awkward because the family were like made a deal of it. And obviously I didn't come clean. What did they say? What was the family saying? The family was like, oh my God. Look, someone's done this. <laughs> the mom was going, oh my God. Come and look at this. And then everyone was called in. We're like. And I'm looking at it like, oh my God. Oh God, <laughs> who's done that? That's rank. And I'm like, that was me. Really? Yeah. And I know it was me because no one does shits like that but me. So why don't you clean up after yourself? I didn't realize who the fuck lifts up the lid. Let me inspect my toilet. You don't look at the shit before. Cause that's for you to piss me off. My son, my son, I don't have my son will paint the fucking inside of the bowl yeah. and he'll walk, he'll walk away and I'll fucking call him down. What the fuck no, is I, this? I always clean it. Yes, I clean it. If it's there, I say it, but I'm not gonna go, oh, should we have a little look under there? But you I'm know, not gonna you... scrape for DNA, Luke. Yeah, but you know you shit on the landing. I didn't know until the mum made a point so of it. Why, going... why didn't you look at it when you finished? What are you on about? I didn't know, I thought I'd got everything. It's like I've murdered someone. And it's like, you know when they're like, but the murderer left a bit of blood somewhere. And it's like, I didn't realize. If I knew I was doing that, it would have I would have wiped it, but it was obviously. So what I'm saying is, the point of making is. Check. When you go to the toilet, you check. Everyone should do this now. When you go to the toilet, you check. Sometimes I go into these public toilets and shame on you, Britain. Shame on you, because some of you wipe that shit on the side. How does it end up <laughs> wiped on the side no, of the no, toilet? No, 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 no. Hey, what are you sometimes, doing? Sometimes, sometimes someone's sometimes gone. Go no, no, fuck that. Sometimes I go in there and someone has just left fucking chunks in the toilet. And I'm like, I'm like, I can't use that toilet anymore. <laughs> I can't use and that toilet. And then you walk out and, and someone, someone goes to walk in. They're like, you. you. <laughs> no, no, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, that wasn't me, by the no, way. No, no. That wasn't me. But then it's like, oh God, I sound like a weirdo explaining like my poo now. So. God. Yeah, listen, listen, don't. If your mates get a bit, everyone gets a little bit ag, it'll be forgotten about sooner or later. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And just. It's all good. Yeah, man. Don't, don't be admitting shit. Don't, 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 don't be admitting shit. your sheet. Yeah, that should be a phantom sheet stuff. All right. Um. All right, all right. This is the one we've got. Um, the girl I'm dating wants to have sex on her period. Oh. I don't like it. It makes me feel weird. Yeah. Should I tell her I don't like it? From Rob. I think this is kind of a tense subject because women will be like, oh, "What you took that? It's natural." But one time, I've gone down on a woman when she was on a period. <laughs> I didn't know you it. You dirty. I didn't know it. You dirty cunt. No, I didn't know. You shut, dirty, shut up. I didn't. You dirty bastard. I didn't know it. Shame on you. I didn't know it. Shame on you. I didn't know it, what? Luke. I only realized because it was in the dark. And then I went to the bathroom and I was like, fuck, my mouth's bleeding. <laughs> That's not my blood. Scruffy. Wow. Oh, I was. I was, I was wow. Christ. <laughs> it was, I was almost sick. <laughs> I could not believe it. Wow. What did you say to her? I left. <laughs> I left. You should have told me. <laughs> I left. This is you. This is you. This is you. 
This is you. I'm leaving. Why? You fucking know why. Nah, fuck you that. Know, I left. You know why. No, I left. I gathered my things and I got out of there. <laughs> did you? I, I left. Did you say anything? Did you tell her why? No. You didn't tell her why? No, it was you, disgusting. Do you, do you think she knew? Why? A woman knows when they're on that. Did you, did you, did you have sex? No, we were going to do the thing and then I went to go and clean up. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. You ate a pussy and then you went to clean up to have sex? No, just to clean up. We, I think, no, we've done other stuff. But. What other stuff? Well, you know, she did that and returned the favor. But I wasn't bleeding from it, for fuck's sake. I was like, you should have told oh, me. Did, did, you did it. So you did it. Fuck. You just sucked each other. You, she, you licked. She sucked. And then you into the toilet. Did you come? Yeah, I did. Yeah. You what is that like? Fucking. That's supposed to make it okay, is it? No. You should have told me. It's a violation. That's code red. And you fucking blew it. You should have told me. That's disgusting. Okay. You knew. Right. You know. You know that. You know what's going on down there. Why would you not tell me? Maybe it just started. Yeah. Maybe. I can't be taking risks like that. What, risk like what? You should have told me. Oh, be careful. Or oh, no, not now, not now. Would you, would you have sex? Would I what? Would you have sex on a period? Yeah. Yeah, I probably would. <laughs> you're, like, you're like, I put my dick places I wouldn't put my mouth. <laughs> no, I, I, I probably would. I don't think it's that bad. But All right, listen, no, this is what I'd say to you. Watch it. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. Like, do you know what? It depends on my mood. That's the truth. If I if I ain't that horny and then she's like, oh come on, I'm like, nah, get the fuck out of here. I'm not. If I'm like, I'm like, <laughs> get a towel. Yeah, <laughs> yeah come on. Get see. a towel. Get a towel. Yeah, get a towel. Get a towel. Yeah, yeah. But I, I I say this to you, Rob. If you don't feel comfortable with it, don't let anybody force you to do things you're not comfortable with, man. You say no, I'm not interested in that. We wait. Mm. Buy buy her a toy. Yeah, and then you see another woman in that period of time in between. <laughs> You have your side chick on the side ready. Buy her a toy. Yeah. <laughs> what a fucking Lego? What? A, to a, boy, a, a sex toy, you Oh, idiot. a sex toy. I yeah, like, your Lego. I was like, what it. are you on about? Buy her a toy. Yeah, buy her a thingy. Oh. And then, yeah, don't, but don't, don't, if you don't, if you're not comfortable with it, Rob, don't fucking, no matter. Doesn't matter. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't, don't. Because you only regret her and you'll resent her for it because she made yeah. you do it. Yeah, and you, you'll you gather your things and leave probably. <laughs> You're a bastard. All right, we 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 got a couple from Thingy on 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 um oh uh, yeah on Instagram. One sec. Right. Tanya doesn't mind. Tanya, the original sheet star, top sheet star, Go top on. sheet star. Tanya, um, Tanya, man, fucking hell. Go on. Right. So Tanya's feeling a bit anxious of late. Which we all get. Me and you get that. I suppose you're fucking doing comedy, man. So we're used to this. But she wants to know, feeling very anxious lately. I know, I don't, I know why, but just wanted to know how you both deal with this if you suffer. Well, if you listen to earlier episodes, Tanya, you'll know that Luke deals with anxiety by having a wank. <laughs> yeah, do you know, and you know, do you know what I found? I'm going to be honest, do you know what I found? I found abstinence from sex decreases my anxiety, funny enough. Mm. So I might, I might, I used to beat my meat to try and relieve anxiety, but I found I don't even feel anxiety the more horny I am. So it's like, I'm fearless. <laughs> Probably because you're bloody so... Revved like, up. Yeah, like thinking about that rather yeah, than... Yeah, yeah, That's what I think it is. So maybe you have a bit of sexual abstinence because I can, just call me a mind reader, but I can tell you flick that beam quite regularly. <laughs> Just slow Luke, down. Slow, Luke. <laughs> slow down. Flicking your bean, Tanya. Oh, Relax, all right? Oh, I, can tell, I can tell Tanya's filthy. So don't don't flick your bean as regularly. <laughs> Take a two-week vacation flicking your bean. Find out how you feel. Find out how you feel. Ah, Find out how you Luke, feel. Fucking That's up. what you do. Just try and have like, don't watch any porn or anything like that. And feel the horniness come back. All right. And then and then you'll feel stronger. 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 Yeah. Show them who you are, Tanya. <laughs> no. Oh, no, she, she said more. Hold on. Um, like if you're anxious, this is what Tanya said. Like if you're anxious, how do you calm yourself down? Like I imagine you both have a wank. Oh, she did listen to the previous episode. But seriously, 
I imagine Luke reading or telling himself in the mirror, he's got this. And Pete going down to the pub for a porn star martini. No. <laughs> No, oh, no, one no. second, one second. What do, you mean, what do you mean looking in the mirror saying I got this? That's what what the thinking. fuck you do? Who the fuck do you think I am? He does do that. Is there cameras right here? What the fuck is this going on? I'm like, she's spying on you. Tanya outside Luke's window. Like. You know what? Do you know what's funny? I do walk around. I do walk around. Talking to yourself. I do. Did you know that? No, I do that. Oh, do you? Yeah. What do you say? You're the man, Pete. Do you? Yeah, and then something happens. I'm like, you fuck. Fucking idiot! You're not the man. Oh, really? Really? Yeah. I, 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 I'd be like, I just walk around like, yeah, you got out work them. You got out work. I just say it just randomly. Yeah, you got, yeah. Out, you got out work. You got to keep working. Yeah, out work them. Yeah, and that's what we're doing for you lot. Yeah. Right, thank so you. anyway, she goes. Uh, All right, fine, take it easy. <laughs> or annoying Charlotte, which I, which I do. No, I don't mind using my name. Right, she's fine with us using her name. It's not like you haven't enough already. Okay. Well, you brought that on yourself, Danny. <laughs> Well, for me, it's two different things. But my biggest one is when I'm going to go out, especially where I got to use transport. And as she's previously told us, she has Crohn's disease, which I think means she shits herself sometimes. Whoa. Oh, okay. I, right. okay. So, yeah, the fear of shitting myself on the train or bus is a big deal for me. Um, She takes the mic out of herself, but it's... But she would seriously, I would die of embarrassment. But no one would understand why it's happened. So they'd look at her and think, oh, she shat herself. All right, you know what? So I'm Tanya's go, worried. No, okay, watch this, watch this. All right. We have a short, we have a short fucking life, yeah? And and all the things that we think were really embarrassing and the worst thing ever, we look back and they were fucking nothing. So it's like, who, who don't, it's like the anticipation of something happening is way worse than than the actual event. So just, just yeah, and especially from doing stand up, I think yeah, there's a I, serious anxiety. No, do you know what? Because when you, it sounds it sounds it doesn't sound crazy. Obviously, you can't do this. You can't do this. But the best remedy I think would be for you to shit yourself in public. <laughs> Luke! No, no, don't, fuck. no, 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 Come no, 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 I'm going to be honest with you, I'm going to be honest with you, I'm going to be honest with you, I'm going to tell you, I'll tell you. you go out and you shit yourself. No, no, because I, I used to do, I used to do stand up, I used to do stand up, and when I first used to go out for the open mics, I used to be fucking Ter scared. Terrified. I'm scared. I'm, I'm terrified. I'm, 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 I went to a gig at Up the Creek in the very early days, and, and they said, oh, we didn't have you on the list. We don't have you on the list. Yeah. And there was a, uh, and I was like, oh, don't worry, mate. I was happy. I was like, I'm, yeah. like, I'm going to go home. So, yeah. oh, no, we'll squeeze you on. Oh, oh great. I was, like, I was like, oh, for fuck's sake. Because I'm scared. I'm no, pacing. I know, I know, I know. I'm, I know. You, you still get like that now. Okay. All right. It's, it's normal to feel, I'm saying I feel anxious. Yes, that's all right. I'm just saying yeah. that Pete still gets that now. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm, I, I, I don't. Yeah, I, all right. I stop can't. showing off about it. No, I'm just trying to say it. It's because I, I felt. You've I, gone through it enough I felt, times. I felt the embarrassment of failing. So, so, and, and, and you know what? The time that we live inside of the fear, and when we come out of it, we're like, why the fuck did we sit in that for so long? People look at a stand up comedian and they go, he's brave, right? They're not, we're not brave. We're not brave. We've just done it enough times to be numb to the feeling of, oh, that was. We've been there. So when nobody laughs, or if you say something, and nobody laughs. We know the feeling of that. So it's it's closed now. Yeah, if you face something enough times, you can't be scared anymore. Yeah, you like, can't. Like, can't. but because Tanya, you've never shot yourself in public. Your fear, I, you, your yeah, fear of it is increased, it. right? Yeah. No, I guarantee if you shot yourself in public, I guarantee everyone on that train is going to think something. Something. She's 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 clearly a weirdo. She just shot herself. And, and, they're going to look at you. And they probably will never and, forget and they it. Will, they'll never forget it. Well, I was going to say, they'll move on with their day like whatever. But they probably... Yeah, no, no. They'll move on with I, their I, day I, like I, whatever. I, I, probably... I will tell you this. If I saw someone shit themselves on a train, I, every time I get on a train, I'll be like, remember that time that person shit themselves on the train? Yeah, but you're not going to remember Tanya's face. No, I won't, I won't remember. I won't remember you, but it will... But, but we'll put up a photo of Tanya right now. No, but it doesn't... It doesn't matter. I'm joking, Tanya. But there's people that live that go their life caring what people think. And these people mean nothing. 
Mm. This is what I mean by shame. I'm low on mm. shame. I'm low on, I'm, I'm like, like, I remember, I remember one time he was at a wedding mm. and my cousin, my cousin, the same cousin I don't, I don't speak to, he's very prideful, Care, cares about how he looks a lot. Yeah, cares mm. about how he looked. Well, when yeah, I, yeah. He, even I spoke to him anyway. And then he, he was at my, 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 my other cousin's wedding. Uh, no, it's my uncle's wedding, sorry. And he, he bet me 40 pounds that I wouldn't get up in front of everybody and dance and just start mm. that. Cause I think there was, um, my uncle married an, an Asian woman and they were doing the, 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 like the Asian dancing and all that. Yeah. And he said, I'll, I'll give you 40 quid if you get up and dance. Yeah. 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 And you did now, it. What he did it. And you, can I finish my story? Well, it's 40 quid. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. For the money. Yeah. But he, he anticipated, no, he wouldn't do that. He wouldn't do that. And he, he based, he based it on himself, not on me. Yeah. I'm low. Like, I don't give a fuck. I'll get out there and, and But you're it. very different to other people, Luke. I can imagine if you shat yourself on the train, you'd have a different reaction to how, what you've just gone through to what Tanya would go through. Right, that's, that's, and that's because you, you can't care. You can't, like, you need to, you need to, it's not an arrogance, but you need it's to feel- It's an ego. You've got your, ego? No, it's an ego. It's a personal, e it's everyone's got an ego. Every, you, the reason you don't want to shit on the train is because you're thinking, how is that going to make me look? How am I going to look to all these people? That's an ego thing. Mm. It's like um, my sister's going out with this guy and he does videos and he, they're go, they go viral on um, social media. So he's kind of like well-known in Belfast where I'm from, right? And they're in Belfast at the minute. And he's trying to do stand-up comedy and he's asking like, oh, like, w what do you reckon I should do? And he's like, yeah, but I don't want to get up on stage. And like someone in the audience is going to know me. Like they know me from my videos. I'm like, you're, if you're concerned about someone in the audience knowing you, you've already, you're going to find this extremely tough because you're already saying in your head, this is embarrassing. So you're letting your ego get, get ahead of you because you're not. You have to go through this. You have to fail the process. to succeed. You have to try and you bet it's part of the process. Do, do you know what do you know what I tried before before I started sounding like when I was before I started doing it? Yeah. I was nervous, yeah, and I didn't want to embarrass myself. Do you know what I planned to try and do? What? This is what my plan was. This is how this this is I'm saying to, to where I am now. Mm. I was gonna just say some jokes into a recorder. Yeah. And then put on oh, laugh, <laughs> laughter. <laughs> Did you? Did you? Yeah, that's how I thought I could. Yeah, and I'm going to put this CD out there and people will be <laughs> it. And I, I thought that, I could, that would work. You fool them. Yeah. And yeah. I thought, yeah. But it doesn't. The way Natural. comedy works, the way that comedy works is basically by, yeah, they, by, by you know, failing. Yeah. You have, you, you you have, have to, to fail. fail. You have to. And that comes down to ego. And that comes down to being vulnerable. And that comes down to making a fool of yourself, which basically is like you shitting on the train. Yeah. You're going to have to do it. It's Want. not like, okay, what is going to happen after you shit yourself on the train? That someone's going to go, okay, it stinks. Yeah. It, it smells. Maybe everyone moves to the end of the carriage and Tanya, you're sat there on your own. But, but then you're, what? You're, you but get off at the next and then, stop. And then, your, and then your life is okay. And your everything's life, okay. Life is, you're you not going to die. About it. Unless it's die. your fucking local, you, you take even, that transport does, every day, then, then it's it a bit. It does, no, 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 no. It doesn't even matter. But then if you're known as the person that shot yourself on the train. But listen. You need to be complicit in shame. They can't shame you. If I try to shame you for fucking, for having a beard, yeah? Yeah. How would you feel? Like, well, you fucking got a bit of one. No, okay. All right. If I didn't have a beard. All right. If I tried to shame you for having a beard, how would mm. you feel? What would you do? Like, that's, yeah, you got a beard. I'd be like, yeah, I know. But that's horrible. That's disgusting. Why? I don't know. I think, I think beards are disgusting. Why though? I don't, I don't, I, because I think you, you've got pubes in your face. Well, you got pubes on your fucking ass and balls, mate. Yeah, but okay. How do you feel about your beard? Fine. Exactly. And that's all it comes down to. You, as but, long it, as, but as long as you're okay with okay. it. Okay, you said that. But if there's a group of people all circling me, your beard's fucking that's good. Then I would be like, okay, I'll shave it. No, see, that's not me. But that's the I'm, ego. I'm, yeah, no, that's not. I'm I'll go to your fuck off. Yeah, yeah. Like I'm, you can't allow the world to shape who you are. Yeah, but that's Tanya shitting herself on the train we're talking about. <laughs> I'm not talking about the beard. Yeah, but I'm just it's giving a bit the, different. Beard, the beard is an example. Oh, like, you, you, Basically, Tanya, what I'm saying to you is, listen, 
Don't, don't worry. allow. Don't let don't, these don't people. Li- don't live in fear of of something that may never happen. And if yeah. it does happen, it's not going to be the end of the world. And if you do shit yourself, come and, and, and tell and us. Tanya, come and tell I, us. I, Tanya, I use the toilet a lot. I use the toilet. I need to shit. If even like I need to shit a lot, right? I probably have that. I probably have Crohn. I don't. It's like whatever. But if you shit yourself, don't go. Oh, I've shit myself. I'd go. Oh fuck! I've shit myself. Right, I'm going to stand up as soon as the doors open and I get the fuck off the train. <laughs> no, no one's going to notice no, by the time. No, no, they'll be no, like, no, when, they'll no, notice no, when I'm gone. No, what, what, what you do? What you do? When you shit yourself and then you, the first person realises, you make eye contact. Is that you? T- <laughs> Is that you? <laughs> that <laughs> like, or move away. Yeah. What the fuck's that Yeah, smell? why was it? Just play play stupid. Then get off the train. Then go to start the clean up job and start to worry about yeah. how but you're going to clean that up. To me. But don't it's worry. Not, it will, you... Well, there's a saying, man. Um, what, what's that? What's that saying? This too shall pass. That's the truth. And like, every, every, if you're feeling good or you're feeling bad, this too shall pass. It'll this, go, I didn't go. know that one, but I know. Let's bygones be bygones. <laughs> oh, fuck's sake. Give us another one. All right, we got one more. We've got yeah, one we more. got one more from Callum. All right, Callum. Callum. All right, go Should on. I give us? He said he didn't care. Give oh, yeah, I'll give his full name. I'll just give Callum. Oh, I'll just give him. Callum. But we just said it now. No, we will beat that. <clears throat> Callum, top sheetster, thanks for emailing in. We appreciate it, bro. Um, I'm a student who hates school and is currently failing his GCSEs four months before I move on from secondary school. So it's safe to say I have a dilemma. Um, Okay, I'm going to talk about this. Right, Callum. My dad's a doctor. Very successful man. Very proud man wanted me to succeed i was the first son uh i'm the eldest son so he was very like kind of tough on me and like yo you got to do well in school and you got to um thing get your grades and whatever now at the age of 16 i wanted to become an actor and i promised my friends that i was going to make it in hollywood right i didn't I'd done really well in school naturally because I'd like to think of myself as naturally intelligent. But I'd done really well in school up until... So my GCSEs... <laughs> I, up, until, up until the point where it counted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. I done very <laughs> well up until the last hurdle, yeah. okay? No, because I checked out. I checked... No, I actually did well in my GCSEs, Luke, so take that so, back. So what are you talking about then? The AS levels. Oh, okay. So I had checked out after my GCSEs because I realized I wanted to go to Hollywood. And my dad was like, you're not dropping out. And I was like, well, I'm going to be in Hollywood, dad. So I am dropping out. And I failed my exams. And it was like, we got the results. And my dad, I was on holiday at the time. And my dad wrong me and he said, your results come through. You failed, Right. And the weight of that th- that thought that this is it. Now it's on me to prove my dad I can do this. <clears throat> that was a tough thing. But it was okay, man. I dropped out of school at 16, right? And, like, I've done all right. I bought my first house when I was... Well, it was a part ownership. That was when I was 25. Then I bought... Then I sold that. Then I bought a flat with Charlotte. Then we've just sold that. So it's like, it's okay. You will find your way in life. The l- exams are not the be all and L. Fuck exams sometimes, you know what I mean? Obviously, if you want to do well exams, you know what you have to do. You know you have to sit down, you have to knuckle down, and you know you have to revise. And if you fail and you want to succeed and you want to pass those exams, your ass is going to have to retake that exam. So you make the decision, do you say in school, because I think you need your grades to get to sixth form, you retake them. But you get serious. If you want to do it, you get serious. All right. I'll, I'll, what, I'll, what, what I'm saying is... Fuck, you get to the fucking yeah. point. Yeah. Shut up. <laughs> no, because Luke took it. He, you did the same. He dropped out of school. But if you want to do something you want to well, do... Th- what? I didn't drop out of school. At 16. At 16, I completed school. Well, no, you didn't go sick form. <laughs> so you that's dropped not, out, bro. No, that's not dropping out of I'm school. I'm fucking dropping out, you that's idiot. That's not dropping out of school. That is dropping out. I went to college. You didn't finish it. I dropped out of college, not school. So you dropped out. Of college. You're a fucking dropout. Of, co- <laughs> of college. All right, of college. But what I'm saying is, it turned out okay. 
<laughs> the last chapter hasn't been written yet. Yeah. <laughs> we're we're, so, we're oh, sorting okay. it out now. One, one second. Okay, okay. Let me tell you this to you, Callum. Watch this. Um, the way you learn, the way you learn, everybody doesn't learn the same way. Yeah. My my sister isn't 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 a strong learner, but she's a hard worker. Yeah, she's a hard worker and she's a nurse and she worked her way up. She started an entry level job and she worked on job experience and she's built her way up until like she's going to be a matron or some, 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 some shit. I don't know. I don't know. But my point is this. I see it in my own children, my own sons, like how they learn. They don't really like the classroom. Sometimes they like the physical. Like my, my youngest son, he, you can tell already, he, he's going to want to work with his hands. Hands on. Yeah, build, he's going to want to be a builder or stuff like that. Mm. There are so many avenues. The system tries to make you, the system is really built that we're in. The system is built for us to be workers, for the pe for the elite, yeah? For the elite, that's what they want us to be. They really want us to be a cog in the system. Now, the most important thing is for you to educate yourself in the areas where you enjoy. That's what I would say. Find what you like to do and then work. I tell you, there is not gonna be um, a substitute for work ethic. You're going to have to work your fucking ass off. No matter. Sorry, excuse my language because you're still in school. Yeah. <laughs> and I, uh, and whoa, how, are you, how are you listening to this anyway? <laughs> Where's the parent is this, our, is this our audience? <laughs> your kids are listening to us. Yeah. But anyway, all right. I, I can't parents. No, what, what, why are you letting them watch this? No, but anyway. <laughs> My point is, it's just you're gonna. No, don't tell our viewers. To... Yeah, I, I we tell, need you, Callum. Yeah, yeah, I, I tell your parents to subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> tell your parents to subscribe. Ah, yeah, but listen, yeah, Callum. But listen, I'd say just what you're gonna have to work, no matter what. But find what you want to do. What do you enjoy doing? I know people say, oh, you can't, you can't find find what you're good at and what you enjoy doing. Yeah, and don't let these fucking pricks tell you you can't do it. And and fight and be creative. There's avenues, ways around. You don't everything. have to be if you don't want to be. He might want to be the best plumber in the world. Yeah, that, 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 that's what my son. My son, he he, did, he didn't he didn't like all the writing and stuff, but he, he wants to go into plumbing. I, and and he's doing boxing. And he's doing boxing. So mm. he's he's gonna he's gonna fucking it, it whoop your ass <laughs> and, <laughs> and, 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 and it fit your toilet. <laughs> See, he's creative. Yeah. He's, he's, he's a knockout. He's a knockout. Two, put the yeah. two together. Yeah, but that's what you do, man. Just you, they're. The, 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 the main thing, the, what I suggest is just find, uh, develop as many skills as you can and combine them. I read that somewhere. I think it was an yeah. author called Robert Greene. Get as many skills as you can and combine them in different ways and you'll be all right. Yeah, and don't let the pressures of being young and being in an education system get on top of you. Because there's always a way to make money and get your way out of it. There is, so, and, 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 and listen to me. So don't guy, worry. This guy is an idiot. I am. And and he's fucking owned two fucking homes. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So don't worry. There's so if, there, if he can do it, anyone me. can do it. Trust me. So, and I haven't even done it. I'm just saying I've survived and it's been okay and yeah. I'm enjoying and the ride. And I've survived. No, I've, I've yeah. survived. always survived. So you'll get, be all right, man. No, and, and the road will be bumpy as it always is. But like you've just, always just, got just us keep, just keep to on tune keeping in on. to. Yeah. When it's getting harder, you need to laugh. Tune, tune in. in to us and you'll be all right, man. All right. All right, this, Cal. Been, this, this has been a long episode, hasn't it? It has. But, but we got through him. We got through yeah, him. And listen, please, guys, come on. We want more. Send us in more so we can talk to you. Yeah, we want to help you lot out. You got Callum, <laughs> Jungle, Tanya, all the other people. JS. JS. Rob. Um, Rob. Subscribe. Um, messaging us and letting us know their problems. And if you guys want the same and you want the same feedback, even though it might be a load of shit, who cares? It's entertaining. It's entertaining. So either message us, message us on on the social social media, or send an email to help at lukeandpete.com. That's yeah. help at lukeandpete.com. And if you could also comment on the video, so we know what you're enjoying, what you're not enjoying, comment, like, subscribe, and share it amongst your friends because we're trying to make the podcast grow. We appreciate you guys. We love each and every one of you. Thanks for tuning in. This has been Luke and Pete. Talking sheet. Take care, guys. Take care, guys. Right